Hello and welcome back to the channel. I realised that I moved into my apartment, what, four or five months ago now, and I still haven't given you guys a tour. So today we're going to be touring a $1,000 apartment right in the heart of Shanghai city centre. Now, as you guys are probably aware, Shanghai is split into around eight or nine or maybe more little sub-districts. And I live in Suhui, and it's right in the middle of what's known as the French Concession. Now, many, many years ago, when Shanghai was colonialized by European countries, this part belonged to France. So you'll see from all the architecture and the buildings and the streets and just the whole style and culture of the place is very European. Whereas perhaps the rest of Shanghai is known for being very modern and advanced and full of skyscrapers. Zuhui and the French concession are pretty much the opposite, as you will see from this video. Now I have to say that although I love the skyscrapers and the glitz and glamour of Shanghai, this part is probably my favourite. I mean, there's just something about it. It's absolutely beautiful. You'll notice that the streets are always clean and the, the trees overlap and arch to make these, um, these tree tunnels, which in the summer and in the autumn when the leaves are green or brown or yellow, looks absolutely beautiful. Right now it's obviously winter, so all the leaves are dead, but this has a very special feeling to it, this place. Now, I was just at Sintiandi, one of the famous parts, one of the famous spots in Zuhui, and my house isn't too far away, so we're gonna take a walk down to my house, and then we're gonna have that apartment tour. So I was just on my way home and passed a, a park right in the middle of the city. This is very, very common in Shanghai. We're never more than a couple of minutes away from big green open spaces. So I thought I'd pop inside and give you guys a little look. Apparently this is a very nice park because the sign said that it was a three star rated tourist attraction. Let's go and see why. still a little bit surprising to me when I'm in a public park like this and I just see people have just left their belongings and their bags just on the side. Loads of people walking past but obviously no one's going to steal anything. It's so nice being able to live in a society like that instead of one where you have to always be cautious about your, your situation, keep your situation and awareness up. Despite being only literally a couple of minutes from my house, I've never come across this park before. So I'm super, super glad that I stopped to check it out because it really is beautiful and it's so lively. There's so many people here. Although everyone does seem to be over the age of 60. So there's loads of clusters of people around. I'm really not sure what they're, uh, what they're up to. Let me see if I can go and find out. Oh, 
Absolutely no clue what, what was going on, but it's very interesting that some of the park signs were in French instead of English. Obviously Chinese was there, but Chinese and French instead of Chinese and English. But anyway, onwards, let's go and head back to the apartment. Very interesting, you can find just these hidden gems, these beautiful parks just dotted around all over the city. As I said, I'm a couple of minutes away from my home. I've never, never seen that one before. Fu Sing Park. But check this out. I think that was a, a chicken being left out to dry or something like that. I'm really not sure why, but... Let's move on. So these are the streets with the, the beautiful old heritage housing that obviously is protected and can't be knocked down. And I think it's beautiful that they've decided to keep all these. We've just passed the, the old residence of Dr. Sun Yat-sen. That's why that beautiful park was there, Fu Sing Park. And his old residence is just around there. So it's obviously a, another protected building, part of China's history part of Shanghai's history. You may have noticed that the streets are incredibly quiet and the city in general is pretty much like that everywhere you go. And that's because most of the cars here are electric nowadays. Or the, the trams are electric, the buses are electric. There's very, very few petrol or diesel powered cars and it makes the city so quiet and so peaceful especially considering there's almost 30 million people living here So, we're almost there, but as I mentioned, the apartment is $1,000 per month. And when you see the size, you might think, oh, that's um, it's a little bit small for the price. And that's probably true, but I think the price all comes down to the location. You see, it's about a five minute walk from the subway station, and it's in the heart of Zuhui in the French concession. The neighborhood is absolutely beautiful. It's protected buildings. And so you are paying a little bit of a premium, obviously, for the location. You can, of course, find more value for your money or more apartment for your money, more size for your money, the further out of the city centre you go. But for me, that was a compromise that I was willing to make. I wanted to live in Suhui, I wanted to live in the French concession, and unfortunately, you have to, buy, you have to pay a little bit more for for those things. Okay, so this is the apartment. And as I mentioned before, there isn't really too much apartment to actually talk about. It is very, very small, but with location, you obviously have to sacrifice some size. And that's exactly what we've done. 
The living room, it's not the biggest. Again, it's enough for what you need though. And the best part about this apartment is obviously that it has a patio, a very nice, large, open space where you can chill when the weather is a little bit warmer. For those of you that saw my previous apartment video, it's about the same size. Although I think the other one was slightly bigger, but then again, it wasn't in as good a location as this one is in. The bathroom on both of them, they are pretty much the same size. It would be nice, obviously, to have a larger bathroom, but still, it's enough. And I won't show you the bedroom. It is just up there. It's um, pretty much part of the same room. There's only a curtain that splits the room from the living room. The best part about living in this apartment, other than having the huge patio and the amazing location, is the fact that it's in a very walkable community. Absolutely everything you need is pretty much next door, downstairs, around the corner. It's surrounded by coffee shops and cafes and it's just a beautiful, beautiful place to live. It really, really is. It's also very, very quiet. I mean, most of our neighbours are elderly, very old, um, retirees, so that's quite nice as well. Now, I want you guys to let me know in the comments, what do you think? Do you think this is good value for money? Do you think it's a bit too expensive? The housing market in Shanghai has not been performing very well recently, so I think you could probably get an apartment like this for maybe 15 to 20% cheaper than how much we are currently paying. And let me know as well, how does this compare to your apartment or apartments in your cities? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.